Have you ever wondered what dropshipping is and how it works? Well, you're in the right place to unravel this fascinating concept that's shaking up the e-commerce world. Dropshipping is a retail fulfillment method where a store doesn't keep the products it sells in stock. Instead, when a store sells a product using the dropshipping model, it purchases the item from a third party and has it shipped directly to the customer. This means the seller doesn't have to handle the product directly. A pretty nifty strategy, wouldn't you say? It's no wonder that dropshipping has soared in popularity, especially among online entrepreneurs. It's a business model that offers convenience, flexibility, and a gateway to a diverse range of products without the need for a hefty investment in inventory. Intrigued? Stay tuned as we delve into the step-by-step -step process of how dropshipping works. To understand the process, it's crucial we start with the basics. Now, the dropshipping model involves three main participants, the retailer, the supplier, and the customer. Let's begin with the retailer, who is essentially you in this scenario. As a retailer, your primary role is to market and sell the products. You're the face of the operation, the storefront that customers interact with. You're responsible for the website, the listings, the product descriptions, the customer service. Essentially, it's your job to convince customers that your products are worth buying but here's the catch. You never actually handle the goods you're selling. This is where the supplier comes in. In a dropshipping model, the supplier holds the inventory, not the retailer. When you, the retailer, make a sale, you pass the order details along to the supplier. They then package and ship the product directly to the customer. You see, in this model, the supplier acts as a behind-the-scenes partner, handling all the logistics of storage and shipping. Now onto the customer. The customer purchases the product from your online store. They're under the impression they're buying from you, not knowing that the supplier is the one fulfilling their order. From their perspective, they're simply buying a product from an online store, just like any other purchase they would make. But here's the thing, in this model, a reliable supplier is crucial. Remember, they're the ones handling the products. If they mess up, it reflects on your business, not theirs. This is why researching and securing a dependable supplier is a vital step in setting up a successful dropshipping business. So, in essence, dropshipping is a three-way partnership. It's a dance between the retailer, the supplier, and the customer. Each has a role to play, and each depends on the others to make the whole process work. With the basics clear, you're ready to understand the actual process. Now, let's dive into the nitty-gritty of the dropshipping process. Imagine a symphony. Each musician has a unique part to play, and when they all work together in harmony, we get a beautiful piece of music. The dropshipping process is much like that symphony, with various elements working in unison to create a smooth buying experience for the customer. First, we have the customer. The entire process begins when they place an order on your online store. They browsed your website, found a product they love, and decided to make a purchase. Next, we have you, the retailer. You're like the conductor of this symphony, ensuring that each element works together beautifully. Once the customer places an order, it's your job to forward that order and the customer's details to the dropshipper or the manufacturer. This is the first step in the actual shipping process. Now let's talk about the dropshipper or manufacturer. They are the backbone of your business. Once they receive the order details from you, they pack the product and prepare it for shipment. They ensure the product is in perfect condition and package it securely so it arrives at the customer's doorstep in one piece. But the drop shipper's role doesn't end there. They also handle the shipping logistics. They work with courier companies to get the product from their warehouse to the customer's doorstep. From printing shipping labels to tracking the package, they handle it all. Now, while the product is on its way to the customer, your role as the retailer isn't over. You're responsible for communicating with the customer. You provide them with the tracking information and answer any questions they might have about the delivery. And let's not forget about marketing. As the retailer, you're also responsible for driving traffic to your online store and converting visitors into customers. This involves everything from search engine optimization and pay-per-click advertising to social media marketing and email campaigns. 
Lastly, we have the customer receiving the product. This is the culmination of the entire process, the moment when the customer finally gets their hands on the product they've been eagerly awaiting. If everything has gone smoothly, they'll be delighted with their purchase and may even become a repeat customer. In essence, the drop shipping process involves a series of steps that must be carefully coordinated. As the retailer, your role is to facilitate this process, ensuring that everything runs smoothly from the moment the customer places an order to the moment they receive their product. And that, folks, is how a dropshipping business operates. Like any business model, dropshipping has its highs and lows. Let's start with the upside. One of the most appealing aspects of dropshipping is the low startup cost. Traditional retail businesses often require a hefty investment to purchase inventory, but with drop shipping, you don't have to buy a product until you've already made the sale and been paid by the customer. This means you can start a business with minimal funds. Another advantage is flexibility. You're not tied to a physical location. You can operate a drop shipping business from anywhere with an internet connection. Also, because you're not dealing with physical inventory, you have the freedom to offer a broad range of products. If you spot a new trend or hot product, you can quickly add it to your store. Now let's flip the coin and look at the potential challenges. One of the most common issues in dropshipping is dealing with suppliers. You're completely dependent on third-party suppliers to maintain product quality, manage inventory, and ship products on time. If they drop the ball, it's your reputation that takes the hit. Another hurdle is competition. Because of the low barriers to entry, Drop shipping is a popular business model, which means you'll be competing with countless other stores, including giants like Amazon. To stand out, you'll need to provide exceptional customer service, create a strong brand, and market your store effectively. Lastly, there's the issue of low margins. Because you're not purchasing products in bulk, your cost per item is likely to be higher, which can result in lower profit margins. This means you'll need to sell a high volume of products or operate in a niche market to make a decent profit. Despite these challenges, many entrepreneurs find dropshipping to be a rewarding business model. It offers a unique blend of flexibility and scalability that's hard to find in traditional retail, but like any business, it requires hard work, dedication, and a bit of savvy. Knowing these will help you make an informed decision about starting a dropshipping business. So, to wrap up our discussion on dropshipping, dropshipping, as we've discussed, is a retail fulfillment model where a store doesn't keep the products it sells in stock. Instead, when a store sells a product using the dropshipping model, it purchases the item from a third party and has it shipped directly to the customer. This means the merchant never handles the product directly. This model has been gaining traction due to its accessibility and low upfront cost. Anyone with an entrepreneurial spirit can start their own dropshipping business from their living room. It's as simple as setting up an online shop, finding a supplier who manufactures the product, and then selling the product on your e-commerce site. We've covered the dropshipping process in detail, noting that it involves four key steps. First, the customer places an order from your online store. Next, you forward the order and customer details to the dropshipping supplier. The supplier then packages and ships the order directly to the customer. Finally, the customer receives the order as if it was shipped directly from your store. However, as with any business model, dropshipping has its pros and cons. On the plus side, it is easy to start, requires minimal capital, and lets you offer a wide variety of products. You also do not need to deal with physical inventory or shipping logistics. On the downside, it can have low margins, supplier errors can lead to customer service issues, and there is high competition in popular niches. Now you have the knowledge to start your journey into the exciting world of drop shipping. Remember, success is a journey, not a destination. You're not expected to get everything right the first time. It's about learning, adapting, and persisting. Keep refining your strategies, learn from your mistakes, and don't be afraid to take calculated risks. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more informative videos. We'll continue to explore fascinating topics that help you navigate the world of business and entrepreneurship.